One of the benefits of digital planning is the ability to easily add, duplicate, and rearrange pages inside of GoodNotes 5. Knowing how to customize your planner or notebook by copying and moving pages is critically important. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to duplicate a page in GoodNotes, how to duplicate specific pages from a template section in a digital planner, how to duplicate multiple pages at one time, how to copy pages from one digital planner to another, how to rearrange pages in your digital planner, how to delete pages, and finally, how to restore pages you may have accidentally deleted. This is Jackie with Plan a Healthy Life, and let's get started. Here is the quick and easy way to duplicate a page in GoodNotes 5. I'll be demonstrating this in my Girl Power Digital Notebook, and I'll link to that in the description box below. If you're on a particular page in your planner and you want a clean new copy of the exact same page added, just tap the Add Page icon in the upper right of your screen. The default is to add your new page after the existing one, but you could change it to before the existing page or add your new page as the last page in your planner. I'm going to leave it as the default after. Now you're going to see an image of your current page or template. In this case, it's just a blank white page with tabs. To duplicate it, simply tap the image and now you have a nice clean copy of the original page. Next, I'm going to show you how to duplicate a page from a digital planner's templates library using copy and paste. Many digital planners or notebooks, like this Girl Power Digital Notebook, have templates libraries or template sections. It's a section in your notebook that has a variety of pages that you can use anywhere in your planner. So using templates allows you to easily customize the planner in a way that makes you happy. As you can see in this particular template section, there are 28 different paper styles. So in your template section, click on the page you want to duplicate. I'm going to make a copy of the meal planner to add to my meal planning section in this notebook. So when you tap on that, you're going to be taken to that meal planning page. Now tap on the four square icon in the upper left corner of the thumbnails view of your planner. You're going to see the current page, the weekly meal planner, has a blue box around it. Tap on select in the upper right hand corner and then tap on the circle below the highlighted page so that a blue check mark appears. Then select copy in the upper left corner. Now tap on done and then close. Now you're going to navigate in the planner or notebook to where you want to add the page. So here I'm going to my meal planning section and I'm ready to add that page. Again, tap on the four square icon and the page you are currently on is outlined in a blue box. Tap on the arrow underneath that page and then you're going to click add page after and then paste page. The magic will happen and then you can tap close. And now you can see that your weekly meal planner is copied and pasted into the correct location of your planner. Now here's how to duplicate multiple pages using the copy and paste technique we just used. Rather than selecting individual pages from the templates library, you can use the thumbnails view to duplicate multiple pages and the process is almost exactly the same. So let's say we want to create a planning tab in this notebook. So I'm going to go to December. Let's say we're going to make a December calendar and then weekly pages. So this is the original that is in the templates library. Now I'm going to click on the four square icon for the thumbnail view. I'm on December, so I'm going to click select and then I'm going to tap on a circle under December. But then I also want to add the weekly plans and there are three of those in this particular templates library. So I'm going to click on those again, the little circle underneath the pages that I want. And so I have those weekly plans selected. Now I'm going to hit copy and done. Now I'm going to close and I'm going to go to this last 
section in my notebook and I'm going to turn this into my um, December planning um, section. So once I'm here, I'm going to go to the four square icons again. I'm going to click on the little arrow beneath the current page. And now I'm going to click add page after and now paste pages. And you can see that here is my December calendar as well as the planning pages. And you, they are in the correct position in the notebook now. One thing I wanted to point out too was when you're using this copy and paste method that the original pages are in their same position in the templates library. You just have new blank copies where you want in the planner. Now here's how to copy pages from one digital notebook to another. Inside the document you want to copy pages from, tap the four square icon in the upper left corner to enter a thumbnail view as you are now very familiar with. So let's just go there. I'm going to click on January to get to that first page and now we're in thumbnail view. So then select the pages that you want to move to your other planner. I'm going to select these calendars here, select these pages. Now we're going to tap copy, done, then close. Now we want to open the document you want to copy the pages to. So I'm going to click this arrow in the upper left and here's my planner section here. I'm just going to copy them to my pumpkin spice digital notebook. And I'm going to see what section. We'll just add them to this last section. So I'm going to click on this. And now again, go into thumbnail view here. And I'm going to click on this arrow beneath the current page. Add pages after. And then paste pages. Now we can click close. And you will see that the new pages are added to this planner. What I want to point out to you is that the tabs from the original planner that we copy and pasted into the pumpkin notebook do not have clickable links anymore. Those links are tied to the original planner. So we can have the pages inside the pumpkin spice digital planner. The pumpkin spice tabs are still clickable and active, but the added pages do not have clickable tabs any longer. Here's how to rearrange pages in your digital planner. It's really easy to reorder pages in your planner using the thumbnail view, which you now know and love. So tap on the four square icon to get to that thumbnail view. And here you can see page 38 is that blank page I added at the very beginning of the video. Now I don't want it sitting in the middle of my two little candle pages. So to reorder that or rearrange it in my planner, I'm just going to tap and hold on that page till it almost lifts off of the page. Oops, I almost let go for a second and then drag it to where I want it after that candle page and then release. Now I can click close and you can see in the planner we have my candle page number one, candle page number two, and then we have my blank page here. Here's how to delete pages in GoodNotes 5. You can easily delete pages from a digital notebook or planner in our favorite thumbnails view. So tap on the four square thumbnail option. Now I'm just going to delete those pages that I added here earlier. I'm going to do select and I'm going to select the pages I want to delete and then hit the red trash icon in the upper right corner and they are magically gone. Then click close and you can see those added pages are no longer with us. And finally, here's how to restore pages you may have accidentally deleted. 
So if you accidentally deleted a page or a notebook from GoodNotes, and it's 2020, so this can totally happen, the good news is that deleted documents and folders stay in the trash bin until they're either recovered, moved, or deleted permanently. So here's how to recover items from the trash bin. You wanna go to the library view, so click the arrow in the upper left corner until you get to the library view, which we have right here. Now tap on the gear icon in the upper right, and then tap on trash bin. And here you can see items that you have recently deleted. So I'm just going to restore a Halloween notebook that I had from last year. So I'm gonna click select, and then click on this Halloween challenge notebook that I have, and then I wanna click recover and then done. And it will be restored to the original location that it was in. So I apparently did not have it in a subfolder, but let's click on it right now and take a peek. And here is my Halloween notebook restored. So it's really good to know that you always have that option if something was deleted, that you can restore it from the trash bin at any time. I really hope this tutorial helps as you customize your digital planners and notebooks inside of GoodNotes 5. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I share videos on digital planning and healthy living. Happy planning!